Well, we have been fantastic this season, my dudes. But there's been one club that's been better in the league than us, and we, we play them twice today, and we play Tottenham. Hopefully it's not, you know, like 7-0, 8-0, whatever that last time was. Hopefully we get our revenge and make it to the knockout rounds of the Champions League. So I've really buckled down just trying to find us a center back that we can uh, use. And, 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 and it's been a little bit tough. And, and the crazy thing is, is like a lot of these guys right now, uh, they're, they're, they're people that I've shortlisted in the past, former players, so they're getting scouted. I, I know that we're never going to buy Mario Jorge, so we're going to go ahead and cancel that assignment. There's one guy on this list that I'm trying to find, and uh, I believe it is this gentleman right here. Uh, he looks pretty solid. He's not, like, don't get me wrong, like, this guy would be a depth option, right? I'm waiting for my scout reports to come back. I would really like to see what his potential would be. You know, like, to me, there's a big difference between three and a half star and five star potential. If he has five star potential for that price, I may make the, the bid on him. He's decent at passing as well. He's got good composure, or not good composure. His composure is decent enough for him to be a ball playing defender for us. But I am. I'm looking at this guy pretty hard right now. Oh, we got a fun one lined up today. Uh, we're playing Barcelona twice. One time in the league and one time in the Supercopa, so that should be fun. Uh, we're not going to make it to the Copa del Rey today. I think we're going to play... Well, saying that, saying that we are going to play in the third round. I do apologize. Uh, we're going to play all the way up to probably Celta. So somewhere at the end of January will be where we finish up. But a lot of these matches, we've got like really three big matches, I feel like. The two Barcelona matchups, obviously the Tottenham. I want revenge against that match. That one's going to be fun. But up first, we have Barcelona. And uh, we're without John Baptiste. I don't know if it happened in the last episode or not. He did pick up an injury. He's out for two more days. Amqua is almost fully fit. Recommended for 45 minutes. Would love to get the youngster a run around today and see what he can do out there. But other than that, I think it's a... a Pretty usual side for us. Corner kick of our own Manchu to send this in. I still haven't set up corners. Jesus, Murphy. Back to Manchu. It's out to Morales this time. Can we get a goal here? Morales has got space. Like, just pick out somebody in the box and hit it in there. Seamal can't get to it. Out to Queros. Does it continue? It does. Romeo can't get his head to that now. Vlasic. I'm assuming this is going to end pretty soon. We're going to take a bad shot. And it's just going to, that's going to be the end of the highlight. Gluger, uh, Svanberg. Do we get it here? Uh-oh, Romeo's got an opportunity. I believe he's offsides, though. Yeah, offsides. Thought so. Do we make it 1-0? Vlasic just picked out Doro. He brings it down, and it's forced outside. Can he pick? Oh, that might be a pin, baby. That, that, that's a foul. Yeah, he took him down. He broke his leg, ref. Did you not see it? Good job, Doro. Right, way to sell the hell out of that. I know he didn't hurt you that bad, but good job. You're taking this pin here, by the way. Let's go, Doro. Come on, bud. Put us up 1-0 here. You earned the pin. And you earn us a 1-0 lead over Barcelona. It's his eighth of the season. And that'll do. That will do. Just end the match here. No more highlights. Thank you. Free kick. It's sent in. Morales does a good job of dealing with that. And it falls right back to Barcelona. I was hoping it wouldn't. I was really hoping we would get to that ball. I know it was a long shot. But I thought there was an opportunity. A little bit of back and forth now. Can we get the ball Back. I was hoping it would end now. Nope, not going to. Just going to continue on slowly. Okay, okay, okay. Space has been found. Oh, oh, oh. Morales with a good clearance. Now it's our turn. Can we make it 2-0? I'd feel a hell of a lot better. See, now he usually gets assist. He takes the shot, and it's saved by the goalkeeper. Oh, no, 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 no. Rosas with a good tackle there. That was dangerous. I don't know if you guys actually seen that tackle, but it was it was a little bit scary. He's already on a car. Doro. Now we move to Gluger. Back to Doro. He's out wide. Can he pick out anybody? Svanberg's taken down there. Manchu playing advantage, I'm assuming. Vlasic out wide to Rosas. Can he drag it across the net? Tries for Doro across the opposite side. And uh, another save by the goalkeeper. I feel like we're going to have to help out Rosas. I feel like he's getting beat way too many times out there on that outside. I, I don't know what I want to do, though. Lavakovic with a good save. Tips that over for a corner kick. Sent into the box, and we do a good job of dealing with it. Doro gives chase to the highlight continue. Does it start now for us? Seamal, he's missed one earlier. Can he get one on now? Plays it back to Rosas. That's a good play by him. There wasn't much of an opportunity for him, and that is cleared out. Free kick is sent into the box. And uh, Lavakovic apparently got a hand on that. I didn't even think it made it to him, but it continues now. Out near the corner flag. It's back in the box. 
Oh, Queros absolutely just murdered a man. He murdered that dude. If, if we had a pin earlier, that might should have been a pin. But hey, I, I'm, I'm not mad. Well, at halftime, you know, we haven't had that many shots, but it seems like we've been really clinical. All three of those shots are on target and we're up one nil. Well, this feels like one of those matches that Barcelona is going to score late and get the equalizer. And uh, we're just going to get out of this match with a point apiece. That being said, Svanberg has a good tackle, but it falls right to another attacker. We've got men in the box to defend this. I think that was tipped. I think that was tipped. It's good to see Amqua back on the pitch after his massive injury. A guy that I signed that I was so excited about. Then an injury sets him back. And uh, it's it's just good to have him there. Manchu tries to take a shot blocked by the defender. It's back in his possession. Seamal picks out somebody. A day takes the shot. It's a little bit of chaos in the box. Had an opportunity there, and it just doesn't fall. But okay, okay. Counterattack now. That was, that was a chaotic highlight right there. I will say that. Can we make it to Neil and put this match out of reach? As I say that, we turn it over and now the counter has been sprung. We've got to get back and do the defending job. Can we do that? A day has my back, baby. Doro now. He's came on the pitch, by the way. A day has. Vlasic has moved up as a striker for us. Seamal takes the shot, buries it eighth of the season. Vlasic on the assist. Oh, yes, 2-0. That's what we needed. You know, if Seamal isn't the signing of the season this year, that, that is going to be disappointing because he has been fantastic. I was really excited about him when we brought him into the club, and, and he has lived up to the expectations, even exceeded those expectations, I think, because of his assist totals that he's had this season. Been fantastic. Barcelona looking to get on the score sheet here. They have space here. We close it down nicely, though. That was that was good work by us. Queros does a good job tracking back and getting on that. Now, now we're out of position it seems like momentarily oh no okay 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 we're good we're good everything's fine well i absolutely butchered the commentary here so we're going to start this over from the replay uh a nice shot here by barcelona to put it 2-1 just from distance and uh yeah good shot barcelona looking to get level here they've got an opportunity we're not doing great queros does a good job of clearing that seamal plays it right back into the attack that that's not good that's not good that's not good i don't like this do not a like a this. Gluger misses his opportunity to clear that, and now it's 2 2. Oh, Gluger. Gluger's been terrible. I'll be real with you guys. I've been so disappointed with him this season. Can we get it back to 3 2? Come on, guys. Come on. We got another goal in us. I feel like Gluger's had a poor match, uh, as usual. It's played into the box. Nobody can get to it. Diallo plays it back to Gluger, though. Can we get that third goal? Come on, guys. We can do this. We need the full three points against this side. They're not losing any other matches in the league, it seems like. Gluger, we're playing it. Kind of slow. I'm waiting for a turnover to happen, really. Vlasic to Doro. Vlasic made a run. Takes the shot. Good save by the goalkeeper and out for a corner kick. Barcelona took looking to take the late lead here. And that was a nice block. I think that was Gluger. Did Gluger actually do something good for a change? Corner kick. Sent into the box. We don't deal with it very well, but Levakovic tips it over for another corner kick to the day. Can we get our third? Come on, guys. Svanberg. It's blocked. Now the counterattack for uh, Barcelona has been sprung. We've got to get back and defend this, guys. We don't have many guys back in the box. Oh, no. Bluger clears it. Good job by him. Seamal, another opportunity. Can we get the third, guys? Come on. Diallo. Okay. Here's our opportunity. Svanberg to Vlasic. He's got Doro, who plays it to a day. I wish Doro would have just took the shot. Doro should have took the shot. Seamal. Oh, my. We look to go again. We got four minutes of added time to get the three points. Amqua to a day. Back to Amqua. Can we do anything, guys? Come on. Oh, man. That's kept alive. I'm kind of surprised by that. Counterattack may have been sprung. Do we do a job of defending Amqua with a poor position there? But it goes right to Queros. Levakovic to Morales. Now, we're trying to get it built back up. Play it long, bud. Just get it out of that box. This highlight is building, and I don't like it. Levakovic with a nice save. We're running out of time. It, it's This is the final highlight, I'm assuming, of the match here. And it seems to be a Barcelona one. Not what I wanted to see. Querhos gives up a pin late in the match. Oh, no. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Oh, man. Levakovic has been good today. I feel like he's been good anyways. Can he save this pin? That is the question. It all boils down to this. A late pin. A late one, guys. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. What? in the world. <laughs> well, I kind of uh, went for this match against Barcelona, and I think it may have sacrificed our chances against Tottenham because we have some tired bodies going into this next match. Well, we all know what happened the last time against Tottenham. Let's get some revenge. 
today. Well, I said it after that last match that we kind of sacrificed some fitness for some guys, unfortunately. And uh, really the only guy that I don't think is able to be able to play today is Morales. He is uh, not fully fit for this match. Uh, so Nelson comes in for him. Timmerman's also in the lineup. Just because Gluger did not look good in that last match at all. We look to get started early on in this match. A day places to Rosas. I'm kind of surprised this opening highlight has carried on a little bit. It went out for a throw in and now we have an opportunity. Rosas challenges the goalkeeper early on in the match. And we get started early on in this match. The last time out against Tottenham, we was just really poor. Uh, we're looking a little bit better early on. Challenging the goalkeeper once again. Well, Tottenham's first opportunity to get on the goal sheet now. Can we do a good job of defending Levakovic with a nice save there? That is out for another corner. Sent into the box. Can we clear it? Spanberg has my back. I would love to get a goal against this side. I really would. Rosas now in space. Drags it across net. Doro is not there, though. Manchu brings it down. It continues a day now. Let's go. Rosas, the attack continues. Romeo! Oh, seventh of the season. Rosas on the assist. 1 0 now over Tottenham. Let's go. So far, it's been a much better match this time around against Tottenham. Can we make it 2 0, though? Svanberg all the way back to Lovakovic. We look to build from the back now. Nelson on the ball. What does he decide to do with it? He decides to run with it a little bit. Plays it to Timmermans, who's in space. Plays it to Doro. He's marked tightly, though. Timmermans now back on the ball. A day finds Doro. Can he drag it across for somebody? It goes in the back of the net. That's why you want to drag it across goal just in case an own goal happens, and that puts us up 2-0 if Doro is on side here. And he was 2-0 now over Tottenham. Revenge, baby. We have not forgot what Tottenham done to us in that last match. That's why we're playing so damn good today against them. Sent into the box. Rosas clears it. And nobody there to pick that ball up. And now it's back in Tottenham's possession. Can we get this ball back and turn it somehow into our highlight? Timmermans misses that. But lucky for us, it misses everybody else as well. Nelson wins this ball. Lovakovic plays it long right into an attacker. Queros, we're defending for our lives at the moment. When we're doing a damn good job, that's offsides, ain't it? That's offsides, ain't it? Okay, yeah, the flag was raised. Free kick, Levakovic saves it and holds on nicely. No doubt about it, baby. What does he decide to do? I'm, I'm guessing he's going to build from the back here. He plays it over to Nelson, who now runs with it, plays it to Timmermans. Can we get the third? That would be, that would be something, wouldn't it? Timmermans now, he has tons of space. Just run with it, bud. All right, Romeo now on possession. He's out wide now, plays it to Doro. Tries to get it over to Timmermans. He finds him. Can we get that third goal? Doro now. Opportunities are coming. Timmermans takes a shot, and it's out wide. We've been so much better, guys. So much better since that last time out against them. It was a fluke. You know it was. You know that was a fluke. Romeo flicks this over to Svanberg. Had a good opportunity there, and a nice block by the defender, and ultimately ends up in the goalkeeper's hands. Tottenham looking to get their first one of the match. It's a dangerous attack right now. And uh, ends in nothing. We've got a throw in right before halftime. Hit into the box. Romeo, 3-0. Eighth of the season. Rosas on the assist. Oh, man, this is fantastic. Tottenham are absolutely shook right now. Down 3-0 in the first half. And they look to get on the score sheet here to make it a little bit better before going into halftime. we got to continue defending this. That's the key. we just got to make sure nobody gets into good space here and uh, gets a good shot on goal. Queros does a good job of clearing that out. And it still is in Tottenham's possession, though. The attack continues. They want their first here. And uh, Lovakovic says, no, no, no. Do we deserve three goals? No. But they didn't deserve to win that first match, seven or eight nil, whatever it was. We got a corner kick. Manchu sends this in. I didn't set him up again. Damn it. Uh, I just keep forgetting. I just keep forgetting, guys. Rosas now. Queros, we look to get a fourth now. That would be, that put this match out of reach, right? That, that certainly would, right? <laughs> I mean, I thought we had a great opportunity 2 nil against Barcelona. I'm not marking Tottenham off just yet. Oh, wow. A run has been made. Lavakovic, that was that was poor by the attacker there. Tottenham are thinking right now we have to score. Wow, that was a nice block by Svanberg. Great stuff by him, and that puts us in possession. Now we go long. See him out on the ball. Can he get an assist? He gets past his man, hits it into the box. Doro can't get his head on it, and it goes right into the goalkeeper's hands. Tottenham looking to build something here. We need to get a stop, guys. Need it. I don't want to allow a goal. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. 3-1. That was uh, not good. Okay, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Lovakovic safely in his hands. Tottenham have turned up in this second half. Kind of reminds me of that Barcelona matchup, you know? It's, it's a bit 
not what I want. It's definitely not what I want. Queros with a good save there. A day now plays it to Doro. Can we get it back up to three goals? A day plays it to Timmermans. He's got an opportunity. Takes the shot first of the season. A day on the assist. Four one. A day running with the ball. Plays it to Seamal. Can he get a goal here? He can. Five one. Not for the season. A day on the assist. Revenge is on today. Uh, I've made two changes, two fitness changes. Uh, John Baptiste comes on for Svan Burke and Mqua comes on for Rosas. Uh, like I said, just fitness changes, really. John Baptiste with an opportunity that he can't get in the back of the net there, though. Coming into this match, I thought it was a very slim chance that we would um, make it to the knockout rounds. But as it stands right now, we're sitting second and we are going to, and PSG is a beaten partisan right now. We did have the lead in the group stage for a moment. And uh, they took the lead there, and now we're sitting second. So if the results hold, we're moving on to the Champions League knockout rounds, which I thought was a long shot by any means. And Seamouse getting a card here. Okay, okay. Got a little bit nervous when I seen him running over there. Tottenham looked to make it 5-2. I mean, it's over at this point. But that being said, um, we can't shut off. I, want, I don't want to allow a goal. I, I don't want to allow a goal here. I want it to be 5-1. Hell, I want it to be 6-1. But... That being said, it doesn't look likely. It looks like we're getting into the closing highlights here. And uh, usually not much happens on these. Nelson, I believe, with a good clearance there. John Baptiste plays it long. Doro gets to the end of it. He's got attackers with him. Somebody's going to be free here if he can drag this across. Tries to get it over to Seamal, I believe, but it's deflected. John Baptiste now looks to go again, and he's tackled. And it falls right to Timmermans. I thought that was going to go out. And now John Baptiste back on the ball again. Diallo now has came on for Manchu. And that is the end of the match. And that is seeing us make it to the knockout rounds of the Champions League. I did not expect this. Well, at halftime, it's still nil-nil. Uh, we've had opportunities. I feel like there's just a little bit of a hangover after that Tottenham match. Well, unfortunately, a nil-nil draw. The bad thing is Barcelona just keep on winning. They beat Villarreal 3-0 today. Well, after shocking the world and making it to the first knockout round, it's time to see who we get to play in it. Okay, here's the one I want. Here is the one I want. Okay, it's not the one I get. Well, here it is. Who do we get? Drum roll, please. Man City. Yikes. Yikes. That hurts. Well, I'm hoping for a better result here against Las Palmas. Uh, Amqua comes in for the first time as a starter since his injury. So this is a big match for him. Amqua wins the ball back. John Baptiste plays it out to Seamount. Can we get on the score sheet here? It's an opportunity that we have. He hits it to John Baptiste. He's on the assist again, fifth of the season for John Baptiste. We take a 1-0 lead late in the first half. Okay, now the highlights are starting to come in late in this first half. Nelson on the ball now. Can we make it? 2-0 before making it back to the locker room. Svanberg plays it to Seamal, looking for Amqua. He gets on it, plays it into Romeo, hits the woodwork, but gets the rebound. Ninth of the season, 2-0 now. Hey, we hit him quick there. Well, there we have it. Uh, we didn't do anything until very late in that first half. It's 2-0. Doro on this, plays it to Romeo, looking to make it 3-0. Diallo plays it out wide to Seamal. Can he pick out anybody? Svanberg now. Mqua hits it into the box. Doro flicks it over to John Baptiste. It somehow ends at Svanberg's feet to make it 3-0, his fifth of the season as well. We look to build from the back, but instead we turn it over. Oh, no, a counterattack that's... Poorly executed. Las Palmas still in possession. Can we win the ball back? I would love for us to do just that and make this 4-0. I don't want to allow a goal. No, no, no. Amqua wins that header for us and it's picked back up. Okay, into the box. Hits the woodwork. A little bit of a dangerous opportunity there and see if we can get anything. Amqua's got space. Plays it to Svanberg instead who picks out Seamal. Seamal's got an opportunity. I think he hit the woodwork again, didn't he? Diallo wins the header. Doro now to Romeo. It's our opportunity to make it 4-0. We've had a couple of them. Doro on the ball. Gets past the goal. Keep ninth of the season. Amqua on the assist. 4-0 now. That's it. Just wrap it up. Get through the end of the match now. Eventually, Las Palmas is going to get a goal if we keep allowing them possession on the ball here. They look to get their first again. Poorly placed pass, but it creates a great opportunity that does allow a goal 4-1 now. Do we have time for one more goal here? Spanberg on a run. Holds it up. Back to Joseph. He's came onto the pitch, and he gets his third of the season. Svanberg on the assist. 5-1 now. It's good to see Joseph scoring. He doesn't play a ton, but when he does, he does typically pretty well. Well, the only thing that I am disappointed about this match is 
we allowed a goal. We didn't keep the clean sheet. 5-1 victory over Las Palmas. And I, I do think it was a good performance. We had goals from a bunch of different players. John Baptiste, Romeo, Svanberg, Duro, and Joseph all banging in goals. Well, a 4-0 thumping of sporting here. Uh, Duro gets a brace, a day gets a goal, and so does Romeo. Uh, it was a good performance by the side. Well, the transfer window is open, and uh, in the short time that it's been open, some crazy things have happened. Uh, Luis Diaz is signing with another club, so I've dropped him down to the B team, unregistered it frees up a foreign spot because, well, we may end up needing that pretty damn soon. Just not not quite yet, but we will end up needing it, I do believe. Uh, I have signed one other player. We've got us a new center back, and I, I spent a little bit of money on it. Uh, and the reason why is I really was struggling with kind of finding a ball-playing defender that was a young player that had decent potential, right? It's a little bit easier when you're at a smaller club that everybody looks good. When you're at a club of this size, it's it's a little bit difficult. That being said, I've signed Zavikovic. Uh, he comes in, he's a center back for us. Looks pretty solid as a ball playing defender. Um, obviously, he needs to get his passing up a little bit. And I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try. I'm trying to get defend. Um, I'm gonna start training him to do that. But he's got good composure already. His first touch is a little bit low, but this guy looks solid. I'm really excited about him. He's two and a half star player, five star potential. That being said. I spent some money on it, okay? Spent 32 mil on it. Yeah, I wiped out wiped out our profits. We're now in the hole to sign this guy. But uh with the television rights coming in at uh at the in the offseason, I think we'll be fine. But uh yeah, he, he looks solid. Uh Tottenham purchased him a while back ago. He's been on my radar for a while. They purchased him a while back ago and never really used him. So I don't think his game has developed a lot, but I think he's going to develop here quite a bit. And I am Really excited about him. That being said, we've got some other stuff that needs to be discussed as well. Svanberg is also under bid uh, for free by Inter and Juventus. So uh, that's a little bit concerning because he is a regular starter that I didn't plan on re-signing at the end of this season. That that scares me a little bit. So I might have to end up finding another central mid because also Antonio Antonio is under bid as well um, for 4.5 mil. So we may be losing two more players in this transfer window. And that means I've got to find replacements for them. We're going up against Real Madrid, not Real Madrid, uh, Barcelona. It is the Supercopa uh, right now. I think it's the semifinal, something along those lines. He says with a question mark, uh, I'm putting out a pretty good side against them. And uh, yeah, the reason why Diallo is starting, Manchu picked up an injury and could be out for two months. That's really going to hurt his career because, um, yeah, he's already 32 years old. I don't know how well he's going to come back from that. It is a uh, a hip injury, so that's concerning at his age. We look to go up 1-0 here. John Baptiste sends in the Doro, and uh, he is very much off sides. It says fractionally. No, no, no. He was, he was, he was off by a good portion. <laughs> it wasn't close. Oh, okay. Uh, I lied. I lied. Doro was not offside. 12th of the season for him. John Baptiste on the assist. And, uh, okay. I, I didn't see that guy right there. I didn't see him. <laughs> all right. Like I said, I really don't care about this match at all. Wouldn't be against it if Barcelona knocks us out. The board don't care about it. I don't care about it. It's just another match, really. Uh, wow, that was a nice tackle by Romeo. That was that was really nice, and it lands perfect for us. Rosas on the ball, plays it to Seymour. Can he get on the score sheet? Hits the dink, hit of the season. Rosas on the assist. Barcelona, don't know what hit him. Hey, now, last time we played him, we done this, and they came back and got a draw out of it. So, hold the horses, guys. It's not over yet. We look to get the third one. Seamal with another opportunity. 11th of the season. Timmerman's on the assist. He's on a brace now. That is uh, good stuff by him. He's having a hell of a match. This guy, this guy's probably my favorite player on this side right now. And there we have it at halftime. Uh, we're up 3-0 against Barcelona. And as I mentioned before, we've done this against them before. John Baptiste still haven't set him up, guys. Damn it. I'm missing so many opportunities just because I'm just forgetting to set him up. You know, I, I don't want to jinx ourselves, right? It's 3 0 against Barcelona. And uh, obviously, they came back from 2 0 to get the draw the last time we played them. That being said, I have seen nothing out of this side today. They haven't looked like scoring. That being said, they've got a good opportunity. And uh, that was probably their best chance of the match so far. Another corner kick, another missed opportunity because, you know, Dum Dum here forgets to set him up. Uh, Svanberg gives chase to this. The highlight continues. I'm expecting it to continue mainly because uh, it started from that corner. John Baptiste tries to hit that in the box. He deflects it off a defender. It goes right back to him. Gloger now hits it into it. Romeo is offsides. I'm fairly certain. I was wrong last time, but I'm fairly certain again. 
And I was right. Could have took the shot himself. But opts for Romeo. It hits the post. Slowly rolls back into the net. And it's for Neil. His 11th of the season, I think. This was interesting because you look at the match stats. They did deserve a goal. But we absolutely dominated this match, even on the match stats. Well, it is time for that Super Copa final. And uh, I'm interested to know, if we do end up winning this match, does it give me a jump up in reputation? So we're sitting at 85. We've been at 85% for quite some time. So we're going to see if that works out today. Uh, we're putting out a pretty decent side out there. I want Diallo to be playing, though. Uh, Nelson, I don't plan on re-signing you, so uh, you're, you're kind of on your way out, bud. We look to go again we just keep building guys i feel like we should have had a goal already in this match well there there we are romeo rosas with a beautiful ball into the box 12th of the season for him one nil now anybody feeling like two nil that'd be nice wouldn't it spanberg drags it across net and romeo on the brace 13th of the season for him two nil now hey 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 Maybe winning a cup this year. john baptiste picks out romeo he's on a hat trick plays this out to rosas who picks out doro three freaking Neil, if it stands and it does no notification though but it does stand and now sociedad look to get on the score sheet now we got to do a good job of defending we've been fantastic these last two matches don't allow a goal baby keep up the hard work levakovich does enough to tip that over and uh really a good save by him hey see in this corner here i, I hadn't set up mine yet I hold my head down in shame. Well, there we have it. I think this is our first thing we've won since Rapid because we didn't win anything at Gladback. So it's been quite a while that we're holding since we've held up a trophy. And uh, here we are, 3 0 victory over Sociedad's leads to that. A uh, fantastic result by the squad today. I was really happy with them. Uh, I, I mean, the attack was on fire. And the question that we had about reputation. Answer is no. Well, Svanberg leaves to go to Inter. He signs a pre-contract. Uh, his contract was up at the end of the season. And uh, I ended up selling him for five mil. And uh, that was just the most I could get for him. Every time I would try to send an offer, you know, like, hey, this is what I want for him. They'd be like, no, we're not. We declined to make that offer. Declined to make that offer. Five mil comes up and they sign him. So that, that's good news. And I uh, bring in Clayson here. He's a two and a half star player, five star potential. He's going to be a backup advanced forward. So Romeo typically starts as our advanced forward. So he's going to be Romeo's backup. Doro typically plays on the left hand side as a pressing forward. And Romeo is going to be his backup there. So it's a little bit kind of confusing, but I think you guys might understand what I mean. I really like this guy. He's got speed for days. I mean, that, that is the highlight of his game is his speed. Well, I feel like an absolute dumbass. Um, I've done this sometimes in a couple of these episodes since we've changed formats where I forget to hit record. Uh, I've done it again. But that being said, look at that final score. A 9-0 thumping over Osasuna. I literally just finished this match. Uh, and I'm, I'm so mad at myself. But the big thing about it, as you can see, uh, goal differential now, we're tied with Barcelona. And uh, right now, since they haven't played, we're on top of that table. But uh, yeah, Seamal has a hat trick. Uh, Romeo has a hat trick in this match. Doro has a brace. And Rosas has three assists. There was other goals as well, but uh, I'm not going to go over all of them. You can see them right there. But yeah, it was... It was a huge win, and that, that helps tremendously with that goal differential. Well, unfortunately, we don't keep the clean cheat, but the good news is we move on to the next round of the Copa del Rey. Romeo on the ball, plays it to John Baptiste. He turns, plays it back to Romeo, and Romeo, wow, buries it. 17th of the season. John Baptiste only assist. 1 0 now over Mallorca. We try for 2 0 now. Timmermans plays this to John Baptiste. He picks out Romeo again on a brace now. 18th of the season. 2 0 now over Mallorca. You know, if we have another big match like we did against Osasuna, that could see us taking the lead of the table. We're 3 0 now. Romeo on a hat trick. Jesus Christ. We just need one more goal to be level on goal differential with uh, Barcelona at this point. And Romeo, Romeo. Good God, this guy can't miss today. 20th of the season for him, 4-0. Goodness gracious. Well, there we have it, 4-0 over Mallorca at halftime. And uh, yeah, we're level on points and goal differential now with Barcelona. Mallorca look to get their first of the match. This highlight is certainly building for them. And I'm uh, not the biggest of fans of this right now. Oh, no, no, no. That's offsides. That's offsides. That's offsides. Raise the flag. Jesus, Murphy. Okay, apparently not. Apparently not offsides, 4-1. And uh, Barcelona now sit top of the table because uh, we had to allow this goal. Well, I'm, I, don't get me wrong, guys. I am thrilled with the performance. 4-1 uh, Romeo with four goals of his own. 
But I'm a little bit disappointed that we gave up that goal because now Barcelona are in control of the league once again. Well, there we have it. Uh, as I said, it's crazy to believe that Barcelona are sitting top of the table and we are not because, guys, we haven't lost a match dating back to September. We have been on fire. Hell, we haven't had a draw since December, and it's the end of January now. Ah, wow. Uh, yeah, guys, next episode's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, we get some Champions League knockout round action going on. Maybe some Copa del Rey stuff. I'm not 100% sure, but make sure to check it out. Well, as I said, guys, uh, it's disappointing that we're not top of the table. It's crazy to think we're not. But this was a damn good episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching. All right.